So, Lexi, what did you think about The Cook of Castamar on Netflix? Oh, oh, Danny, I loved it. I loved it from the beginning to the end. So much action. How about yourself? I did like it. Um, yeah, 12 episodes on Netflix set in Spain, fictional Spain, 1720s roughly. Uh-huh. And I kind of like that, you know, the girl kind of stumbled in with all her phobias and took over as a cook, but she was a good hearted person among all those wicked people, even among the servants and the rich people. Anyway, what, what was the biggest, the best thing that you like? Let's start with the positives. Oh, the best thing for me, I thought was the end where he really, you know, he was so in love, not was, he is so in love with Cezas, he gave up all his titles and you name it. And he found her and he, ask it to marry here Danny it was so nice so it was a happy ending he basically mm-hmm. gave up he was a duke uh mm-hmm. and he said I gave up the duchies or whatever they call it the dukedom duchies <laughs> so just to be with the, um, you know the former cook yeah and she was a nice person that was the biggest thing yeah but what about all the treachery Mike and then even when they had a duel Diego de Castamar with that uh, wicked marquee who's just like a, the devil himself, somebody oh. in the, the movie said. I mean, he was so conniving. Yeah. What did you think about that? I mean, he had a backup plan uh, when they had the duel. Oh, yeah. I mean, my goodness. The guy lost his whatever this is. What is this? The, a yeah, sword? The, the, the saber. Yeah. Well, he beat him with the in the duel fair and square. But the guy had a gun put away. Yeah. I mean, you know, what do you think about that? I He was lucky I wasn't there. I would have given him a fat lip. You know, Danny? Oh, yeah. But, you know, what, what's what's the purpose of having two guards? Like, if I had the <sighs> duel, I would say, listen, if he kills me in the duel and I lose, arrest him. <gasps> Where were the two guards that he brought? You, you're absolutely right. I think that was... For me personally, that was the only flaw that I saw in this, all those episodes. It's just so stupid. Yeah, Two guards, and then when he's lying there, the cook arrives, the guards, I don't know, were they outside somewhere smoking? I, I mean, it's just, that was really the dumbest thing. I it was, was dumb. The cook saves them, yeah. saves his life. So that yeah. was, I think that was, uh, whoever wrote that episode should be fired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you. And then this, this thoughtless, mean, selfish, scared woman, this pregnant woman who oh, was Amelia even, Castro. Oh yes, yes. And she it wasn't even it wasn't even his baby. And then the cook saved him and and she just slammed the door in this poor girl's face. And the poor girl, Clara, she was she had blood all over the place. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she it wouldn't was let her in. She, yeah, she came bloody to see how Diego's doing, <sighs> and Emilia just slammed the door in her face. She was, and at the end, you know, she's lucky that Gabriel loved her and took her after she lost the baby. She was in, I guess, in some kind of a nunnery church, something they took her in because they kicked her out of Castamar. Yeah. But Gabriel offered to take the baby and go to Cuba, and she said, she said yes, I think pretty much in the evening, but in the mo- no, uh, in the morning, no, you know, greed. Yeah. She wanted to be the duchess. Yeah, this shows you what animal love can do, you know, to a human <laughs> brain. Then while they were in bed, you're right. They, they, she agreed to go with him to Cuba. And then uh, she didn't even lose the baby. You remember when-, when Well, she no, she didn't lose the baby. They unwed- took the baby. Yeah. When she delivered the baby, whoever took her in, took the baby, yeah. gave it away, adoption, something happened. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the house at that time. I think they called it the house for unwed mothers. And that was, they just helped her to give birth. And then they took the baby and slam, bam, done. And I guess when the girls are healed enough, in this case, women, they had to leave. So she yeah. was lucky. This, um, this the young, what's his name? You remember? Uh, yeah, Gabriel. Gabrielle, that's right. She was lucky this Gabriel still was willing to marry her. It was. All right. Any uh, Anything else you li- like, dislike? I mean, that woman in the kitchen who was uh-huh. always conniving and selling for her money to go to America. What did you think about her? I forgot her name. Um, Rosie. I think her name Something is Something like that. 
I mean, it was just a sad case, really. Just she probably grew up a very, very rough life, and yeah, she, be, she was be like Beatrice. an alley cat. Yeah, you know? Beatrice. I was looking on uh, I I M D B here. Beatrice is her name. Ah, okay. Beatrice. Yeah, but at the end, that money got donated to that house for you know oh. girls, you know, oh, who don't have yeah. parents. I guess orf orphan girls. So the yeah. money got used up well, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So that was a really nice one. And then the the woman who was in charge of all the cooks and the maids and you name it, you know, after they got rid of this this man who tormented her all her life, she became a nice person. Yeah, and the butler, the butler helped her, uh -huh. and that was Clara. She was about to run, mm -hmm. and Clara, the cook, said, "You know, trust the butler," and I forgot his name. Yeah. So he turned out he really liked her, and then yeah. later they became friends. Yeah. So and, that and was she, actually pretty good that she turned around. I mean, Clara was like just a really likable person. Yeah. And there were like half a dozen people who hated her just because she was smart and likable. Yeah. And and she really didn't take anything from anybody. She was the most diplomatic young woman that I ever have met, even though she went through so much hardship with her father. It's just it was a good show, Danny. Did you enjoy it? I did not. Yeah, it. I thought it was. I thought it was a good show. I, I, it was a, it was good. They showed, you know, wicked people and good people. It was almost the only. The other thing I didn't like is they overdid these sex scenes. I, uh, mm -hmm. I think that was the biggest difference from uh, what's the British version of this? Downtown, Downtown Abbey. Abbey. Uh -huh. Yeah. So think of it as a Spanish Downtown Abbey with more sex <laughs> well so, and way more plot way more the plot, plot. Yeah, yeah the plot was way better in this show versus downtown abbey almost has no plot but the people are more diplomatic and it's more like the crown you know mm -hmm. all these protocols here mm -hmm. the protocols people disobey the protocols left and right but there's a plot going on you're right mm -hmm. so you're correct if you want to see more plot this has plot yeah Definitely. Yeah. Well, all right. That's, uh, let's recap it. Um, one to five stars for our audience. Five. I, yeah. I will give it a five, Danny. All right. I will second that. I give it a five stars. So everybody, if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. Uh, we didn't give away much of anything, really. Uh, you can actually go in knowing it's going to be a happy ending. So <laughs> that's the only <laughs> thing we gave away. So, yeah, 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 it's worth investing 12 episodes. And, oh, you know what? I'm going to give it one more great thing that I really like. Is uh -huh. th I, there's no cliffhanger. I think what yeah. the last six things we watch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, 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 there's always some kind of a stupid cliffhanger. Then they cancel the show after the cliffhanger. That is, to me is ridiculous. So they didn't have that. This thing fully ended. Yep. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm so glad you mentioned that. Yes. No cliffhanger. It was it was really great. All right, uh, everybody uh, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you in the next episode. Yes, yes, absolutely. Be kind to one another. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Danny. Bounce, bounce. Bounce.